All right. So welcome back to my channel. If you're hearing us live, why don't you say hi to us so that I can talk to you for some time before we start our interview session. And as you know, we are right now covering a series where I'm bringing up one student almost every day to just give you a perspective that what sort of growth they are getting. And today we have a very special guest. His name is Sanjeev. And he has more than two decades of corporate experience, have diverse backgrounds and he he will share his amazing learning which has been going through through this journey of personal growth so let me invite sanjeev here hi sanjeev how are you doing i'm doing great vijay how are you doing i'm doing amazingly good so thank you so much for taking out time from your busy schedule i i know that you have a lot of other responsibilities so why don't you give some background about sure. yourself sure Hello everyone, uh, this is Sanjeev Chaudhary here and I have about 25 years of IT experience uh, and out of which uh, I spent about 10 years in US. So I worked with various, you know, uh, US, UK based clients and very diverse team actually, right? So a lot of experience. Uh, on my personal side, uh, I am settled here in Bangalore, although I was born and brought up in Delhi. Uh, I'm settled here with my wife and my son, who is uh, uh, 17 year old, and he is really passionate about history. And uh, as far as my passion goes, uh, I'm a, a you know fitness enthusiast. So I love uh, running. So I'm a marathon runner, as well as uh, I love tracking, going into the nature. As you can see behind me, there is a <laughs> painting of mountain, which is Everest. And I love uh, going out to the mountains and all of that, right? And uh, last two years, I have been uh, actually uh, have developed a habit of reading books. And with the PIM Association, I think uh, even I'm more more and more into uh, reading books and you know uh, associated with this uh, great uh, community. So when you say trekking and uh, marathon, I'm sure you have participated a lot of marathon. How many marathons have you participated? Mm -hmm. So, so far, actually, I have uh, participated about three to five marathons wow, that's uh, because of pandemic. There is a break, but my plan is to actually do a full marathon this year, actually, oh, uh, yes. New, York, New York marathon, actually. Uh, wow. Of course, it will be virtual because of the pandemic, <laughs> but definitely I want to do that. Correct. Correct. And what about trekking? How many treks you have gone through by now? Well, uh, treks, uh, I keep going nearby, but uh, the major one I have done uh, Hamta Pass track, which is in uh, Manali, okay. which, which is near Manali. It's uh, one of the most dramatic, uh, you know, crossover track. Then mm -hmm. I have gone to Everest Base Camp also. So that was two years back. That was my dream trek, which, right. um, which, is, which is the reason actually I fall in love with mountains. Okay, nice. So when you're saying this, that you're outgoing and going, when a book comes into picture, because they are two different <laughs> universe altogether. Somebody who is like a dynamic person who want to grow around, who want to explore the world. And all of a sudden now you're talking about books. How did this journey happen? And when, what was the contribution of PIM into it? And what did you like? Why did you say that? Sure. I mean, uh, I got into, I mean, I know from the very beginning, you know, uh, that book reading is a very good habit. It's just that since childhood, I have not developed that, right? But I knew within that, you know, being a growth mindset, I have always been uh, reading books, but not consistently. But with PIM and attending some of the book clubs, uh, that unlimited inside potential book club that uh, I'm part of, uh, has actually helped me understand the importance of uh, reading books. And uh, for last two years, I have been very consistent, but uh, last six months has been even better because I'm part of this book club and we are discussing uh, about some of these, uh, you know, concepts that we are learning in the books. So, yeah. Now you have 25 yeah. plus years of experience by now. And with that experience, I am sure that you have, you, you understand the importance of communication skill. Can you share some exposure? Because you've worked with so many diverse background of people. Why somebody would need to invest his time, energy, and money to master communication skill, leadership skill? Why? Okay, because at a senior level, you have met a lot of people. You are mentoring to many people you are mentoring as well. Can you share some light? Why it is important? Why would somebody put time into it? 
Sure. Uh, so Vijay, I think uh, uh, communication is one thing which is the most important, right? Uh, no matter how good you are technically or how good you are, uh, you know, in your area of expertise, right? Uh, if you are not able to communicate the idea to others, or if you are not able to actually connect with others, uh, you know, deeply, you will be limited. You will definitely be limiting your growth, right? And I have seen it over the years, like how I myself have struggled, uh, you know, with the communication. With I, I always, you know, kind of, you know, not able to understand why my manager is behaving that way, right? Or why I'm not able to kind of uh, understand the need of my team members. How can I make use of them uh, more effectively? Right, so these are the challenges that you face, and I've seen people struggling uh, throughout my career, uh, mm -hmm. where they really don't understand uh, what exactly is the need of the other person. Right, mm -hmm. so definitely uh, communication is one thing which, if you can invest, it will go a long, long way. All right, so let's go talk about the workshop which you are part of. So first, I'll talk about assessment. I remember you did an assessment some, some time back. Can you throw some light? What is that assessment and how it can help someone to identify their own potential, to identify their strength area? Can you throw some light on that? Sure. So, uh, so there is a DISC assessment, uh, or we also call it CIR, which is Career Impact Report. It helps you basically uh, you know, know yourself better. What is your communication style? What is your uh, learning style, right? So I came to know that, you know, okay, my communication style is more of an advisor, right? Mm -hmm. Or the way I learn is by doing things. I'm a kinesthetic mm -hmm. learner, right? So mm -hmm. uh, I think it's, it's very important. So by just reading a book, I will not, uh, you know, really understand uh, the concept, right? So I need to feel it. I need to you uh, do certain things use it and then only i will learn that's an important mm -hmm. point of information right mm -hmm. and it also gives you uh, the idea how will you react when you are under stress right and mm -hmm. uh, it will also tell you what are your gro growth areas like in my case i think uh, in public i kind of you know easy going person mm -hmm. right uh, but sometimes easygoing can be, uh, you know, negative thing also, right? I mean, because you need to show the sense of urgency. So with this knowledge, now I know when I need to, you know, change myself and show an urgency and the importance of some deadlines, right? Uh, to my team, to my uh, leaders and things like that. So definitely it, it helps you a lot, actually, from that perspective. When yeah. you're saying that, I recall a question, which is very relevant. You have 25 years experience, that means you are right now director level, you are mentoring a lot of people. I'm sure you have seen some people who have the potential to grow, but they don't put their full passion in their work. Do you think career impact report can help them to find out that miss and get it, you know, at the top of their game? Absolutely, uh, Vijay. I think uh, this knowing yourself can help you a lot, actually. And as I said, you know, once you know what are your growth areas, uh, you can communicate better. Like I'll give you an example, right? Uh, so let's say if a person know that he is, uh, let's say he a detail oriented person, right? A C personality, mm -hmm. right? And if he has a boss who is a D personality, okay. which is more dominant, right? So mm -hmm. if he has this knowledge that, you know, I need to, be very precise with my boss. I need to give him to the point, right? A lot of people struggle a lot because they, because being a C personality, they like to give details, right? Mm -hmm. And right. Uh, right. his boss is getting irritated, unnecessary, right? I mean, because he doesn't want, he want to the point, right? So definitely this information that knowing different personality, knowing how to communicate with your boss, how to communicate with your own team, like even you can use this knowledge to really, uh, you know, see how effectively you can use your team members, right? Because nobody is actually good in everything. You need to uh, 
you need to understand who is the variety driven who is the you know significance driven so you need to play around with the people uh, play around means in the sense making use of their strength correct, correct. Uh, and then making them effective use of your team correct. so that's that's really uh, immense uh, information that you learn in this communication yes. workshop you have attended perfect so let me summarize what i so just i'll mute it up so what i understand is when somebody knows about his strength it helps to improve his productivity and it also helps to give him clarity so the collaboration as a team improves in a much better way so that overall performance of the organization can improve can you give a couple of examples in your marriage also you can unmute yourself couple of examples in your personal life which you can help somebody yeah i mean so the good thing about this uh, you know this particular uh, workshop is that it does not only help you with your because it's, it's it's a general thing right it's it's more of a how do you connect with people whether it at a professional level or at your home with your wife with your spouse with your kids right i mean after this uh, workshop actually i am able to kind of uh, communicate with my wife with my son in a much better way actually uh, i'll give you example vijay i think it's recent uh, yeah, this sunday only we actually went for a uh, went out for a dining out right and uh, we landed up in the uh, one of the restaurant which i started to feel that you know my wife is not liking it because for the brewery and uh, <laughs> you know, she she doesn't like that right i mean okay. the, the the choices of the food was not up to her liking but my son liked the ambience uh, and i also like it that place so i mean if i i mean before this workshop it would have been a huge huge uh, you know conflicting kind of a mm -hmm. uh, situation but the way i could sense i could get the clue that you know she is not happy i accepted immediately that this is not the right place i am sorry uh, and we will we will go some other place i offered her you know we can still move out and that's one thing actually helped uh, the conversation and you know uh, everything went very smooth and she also enjoyed we had a very good conversation so good. the point i'm trying to make is that it it helps you really connect very well listen and get those clues okay what is that you know you should be doing uh, what is the right appropriate behavior so now now let's come to the workshop part so in workshop we have covered multiple things can you cover some areas which you felt were very important which really were i mean you have attended many workshops so i'll come before that this question will be more relevant at 25 years experience it's not that you have attended this first workshop i'm sure you have gone to hundreds of workshops before also can you see some stark difference which you believe Helped you to become more better in terms of grasping the concepts. You can unmute yourself. Yeah, sure. So I mean, as far as I was also very kind of you know uh, not very sure about this workshop before attending it, but uh, because I have attended lot of uh, lot of workshops, lot of uh, you know trainings on related to communication. uh related to storytelling and all of that i think most of these workshops actually happens uh over a period of one or two days right the best thing about this workshop is that it happens uh over the you know three months period right so you can apply these concept on a daily basis and it is very very practical it's very uh, less of content uh but whatever content is there it's very very powerful uh and it's more of a practice on a weekly basis so definitely i think uh, uh being a kinesthetic learner it has suited me very well actually and uh, i will recommend anybody who want to improve uh, communication as well as uh, connecting with others and have a richer life uh, to attend this kind of a workshop can you give yeah. some tips yeah. of some content some content you like i uh, i really love the human human need concept right i mean that is like an eye opener for me i mean i was not even aware of this fact that there is a need of other person 
and you based on their love language their need you need to communicate uh like i said the example right i mean people the uh, c personality uh, or uh, somebody who is detail oriented would ask for a lot of data right or uh, a variety person like uh, i i have found that you know uh, now it is easy for me to understand what is the person need now i can relate to uh, in couple of discussions with my team members i can understand okay he is a variety driven person that means he will get bored with one of the uh, if i give him just one thing and uh, monotonous job right so i need to give him a variety that will help me him be motivated and be more and more productive so that these are the things that that is very powerful human need the other thing is uh, how to avoid i mean conflict conflict handling is another thing that i learned a lot uh, trust uh how do you build trust with others that is also very good uh, but the most important thing is the human needs which is like uh, you know eye opener for me and uh is the basis for uh best communication you can have perfect perfect so few more questions i'll ask you i'm sure when you are taking a decision as it is not a first works up there will be a lot of questions because when it comes to investing money A lot of people are waiting for the company to invest, and you are director level. You, you could have invest, found some way to take when company is helping you out to fund it, but you invested on your personal growth. A lot of people are in the same dilemma. First, they underestimate the power of a communication skill. They assume that technical knowledge is good enough to take them forward, which is to some extent correct because fifty to sixty percent technical knowledge is also important for a technical profile. But to go beyond obviously you need communication skill and people generally wait for company to invest on it and you took that proactiveness and invested on yourself and you started doing it if somebody is that same situation right now how did you took a decision so i think for me um uh, the decision was uh uh easy because i have been part of pm uh, session and i could connect with uh, some of the talks that you have been given on a weekly basis right uh, and that has uh, actually I, i could connect very well and uh, being part of uh, the association i had a confidence that uh, you know this this workshop can take me to the next level and the other thing that i've heard about the workshop uh is uh, that it's not about uh, it does not teach you like you know how to speak uh, right it's it's more of a how to connect and that's where i was kind of a struggling uh and i think uh, this that's the reason I, i and for people who are at my position i would say that you know no matter uh um, you know i know it's it's a huge amount that you have to pay but at the same time i would say it's not as much as the benefit that you're going to get out of it because this is once invested it's for your whole life right uh and it can change your life drastically the way you communicate the way you react to certain things will definitely change and life will be much more uh, fruitful for you if you uh, invest this money is worth investing can you add few more concept about group because there's a group dynamics also in this workshop you're not alone there were around 20 to 25 people can you share sir that concept that how a group dynamics helps you to grasp the concept in a more better way yeah so i think the that's the best part of this uh, workshop right where we are actually not only learning about the concepts but having lot of uh, discussions we we have an opportunity to uh, you know ask question from you vijay and uh, and we have a lot of uh, individual group discussions happening where we can learn from each other also on top of it we have uh, uh, you know the uh, whatsapp group where we are kind of you know sharing our day to day learning which has also helped us understand what others are learning and we can also learn from that right so this this is more of a more practical uh, i would say uh, experience more than the theory 
So that is the best thing uh, about this Perfect. workshop. Perfect. So a few more lines if you want to add before you wind up this uh, interview. You guys can see a lot of benefits you've got. You've got some personal benefit in your personal life, in your corporate world. So few things you'd like to add if somebody want to join this, why would they join if you like you want to add before you wind up? I think uh, mo most of the things I've already covered, but I will just repeat again. Uh, see, as I said, you know, communication is the key uh, and connecting with others is the key, actually. If uh, uh, you, that's why investment is worthwhile. Your return will be much more than what you will invest. That's number one. Second is uh, you, since you will be part of this communications uh, skill, uh, you will be able to kind of, you know, uh, I can guarantee you that uh, you'll have uh, better harmony at your home. Uh, you will be able to kind of, you know, uh, connect very well with your bosses, your team, which means, you know, your stress level in your office will come down drastically actually uh, most of the time we keep thinking you know and keep stressing on certain things because we don't know how to connect with others how to get things done quicker right like uh, you know connecting 101 is the most important thing right that's it's an important aspect so you learn a lot of nuggets uh, in this workshop and uh, and the last thing i would say is that you uh, are in an association uh, with a PIM, uh, connecting on a weekly basis through your sessions, Vijay, which are very, very helpful, uh, attending some of these book club uh, discussions. So those are also, so your association will also help you actually learn faster and grow faster. So that's my message to everyone who wanted to kind of, you know, grow to the next level. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjeev, for taking your time and coming for the interview. It was great talking to you. I'm sure some people might have got benefit out of it by your experience. I am so happy to have you here. Thank you so much. You can unmute your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So if you're in a similar phase right now, we had Sanjeev right now who was sharing his experience. If you're also in that state of life where you believe that your efforts are not rewarding you to the way it should be, that if you're finding that there's a communication gap, you are not able to communicate what you want to communicate, there's no point in suffocating. We all have gone through the same journey. I have gone through it for many years before I took it responsibility to grow myself. And today, the same thing I'm helping other people to do. So if you're in a similar situation, you don't have to suffocate anymore. You can just reach out to us. I've dropped my WhatsApp message. You can drop me a WhatsApp message and let's have a communication. If you have any question related to this topic, we can sit and talk and I can help you out. You never know. Today's challenges can be tomorrow's strength of yours. Only thing is you have to start from somewhere. And it was great talking to you. If you're looking forward to any other information, let me know. I'll come up tomorrow with one more student of mine to give you more perspective. It was great talking to you. Thank you.